Wow, guys, keep watching as we unbox all of these Jurassic Park classic dinosaur toys. And I go ahead and let you have a look at the Chaos Effect Mobile Command Center. Cool. Keep watching to see all this and more. Wow guys, great to see you again. Here is box two of all my awesome Jurassic Park toys. Majority of these are like vintage, like uh, Mattel and, well Hasbro and uh, Kenner. Wow, they are some really cool ones. Keep watching and we will set up an awesome dinosaur zoo. Okay guys, so uh, all these dinosaurs we're going to take a look at today, I have uh, unboxed, the majority of them, I have unboxed, reviewed, and done awesome uh, dinosaur battles and different stuff with them. If you want to wait till this video ends and check out my playlist. Here I went ahead and recreated something similar to the volcano explosion that you see in Jurassic Park to uh, the preview for the fallen world so that is awesome and we're gonna have a lot of fun okay so the very first one we have is called the young t-rex so this is a good sized one this is a younger t-rex uh, it's not quite a baby this is JP 06 it is all rubber and it's a really cool looking dinosaur and then our next one is one I really like. This is the Bone Crusher Carnotaurus. Go ahead and check out his head, how it opens up. This guy always reminds me of the Joker. So if you move his leg, his mouth opens and closes. From closing to all the way like that, and it will lock into that position. This guy's like yelling. He's like, would you step on my tail? And uh, this one is not a cheap one, guys. This one is JP26, and he cost me a good bundle. And this next one, in my opinion, is the coolest dinosaur toy uh, ever made for the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World line. This is the animatronic Spinosaurus. I've seen this guy go up to $600 on eBay. So this guy has uh, three different buttons. He does animatronic moves, roars, and he is really awesome. So three different pressure points on him. Uh, his entire body is rubber, so it makes him look a lot more realistic when he moves and he roars. So, really cool dino, guys. Uh, go ahead, check out my full review on this guy because he is awesome. And then this next one is a really awesome dino, too. This is the Chaos Effect Bull T-Rex. These things came with the freakiest looking accessory. It's a guy in like a coffin type container which the dinosaur will swallow totally down and then you go ahead and take it out of his stomach. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, so he's totally swallowed it and it's right there in his stomach. So this guy will swallow about six to seven full-size action figures. Really cool looking, real glass eye, realistic looking teeth. I mean, this guy is just awesome. This one is JP28. And then I have a remote control T-Rex from the Lost World. So this one has like uh, action if you push the remote button. He opens and closes his mouth and he roars. But it seems like the battery is getting 
low on this guy. But he does open his mouth all the way up, so he looks really freaky. And at one time he did used to move to, now his legs just move back and forth. The entire guy is rubber, really freaky looking mouth and teeth. Like I said, this guy reminds me of the Joker. This next one is one I have not reviewed yet. This is the Ainkley Loranodon. This is made by Kenner for the Jurassic Park line. Uh, Okay, so this guy's tail moves. Weird. That is a weird action feature. Uh, wow. I thought maybe his arms flapped or something, but I guess not. This guy is JP48. You can see he's huge. I love the look of his face. I mean, that purple with the red eyes and this big crown on top is awesome so this is a chaos effect dino it says 1997 and then i have the original bull t-rex there you could hear him roar so this guy's really awesome too uh he does also open his mouth and you can swallow about six action figures. He does come with that big coffin looking thing I showed you with the other one. And you could take all the stuff out of his stomach. This is actually one of the most realistic looking dinos. He does have a real glass eye on both sides. Really uh, wicked looking, choppy looking teeth. So this guy is JP28. Then I have this weird, freaky looking Spinosaurus head. This was actually made uh, for Jurassic Park, so it is a Jurassic Park toy. It's supposed to be a puppet. You can see there, it looks like a puppet. But the thing is, you cannot fit an adult hand inside, and it's super hard. So even if you got an adult hand inside, you would not be able to use this as a puppet. So, other than just being a head, it's kind of worthless. But one fun thing you could do is put it onto the head of another dinosaur. So here you have a dinosaur with a, a T-Rex with a huge Spinosaurus head. And then here is another cool Kenner uh, Jurassic Park toy. This is the Triceratops. JP08. He's got a huge wound here on the side. If you squeeze it, this guy moves his head up and down like he's challenging a T Rex or other carnivore that he's trying to eat him. Really huge dinosaur, all rubber body, except his head is like hard plastic. So, really cool. Like I said, if you squeeze it, attack! And then you got another cool uh, Kenner Jurassic Park Stegosaurus, a huge one. If you squeeze his spines here, he moves his spike tail like he's going to attack. So this back part is all rubber. The rest of him feels, it's almost like a leather type feel, plastic. So it's plastic, but it feels like leather. So another really cool Kenner. And do you want to hear the most annoying sound ever? Listen to this guy. <laughs> That's gotta be the most annoying sound ever. But this is the Uteraptor. It's uh, a huge Velociraptor. I mean, the body is all rubber. Legs and arm are plastic, huge arms with really huge claws on the end. This is JP22, and he has awesome uh, third claw here that moves up and down on both legs. So, really cool third claw, which is the ripping or killing claw. And then here we have a fun 
T-Rex puppet. So he's got like little arms. You could open his mouth way up and down. And this is a Jurassic Park puppet, which will actually hold an adult's hand comfortably. You can see it says JP there. And it's cool and realistic looking. And then we have a chaos effect, a Margo Spinus. This guy, if you pull his back leg, his spikes on his back, there pop off. He has spikes on his neck that pop off. And he opens his mouth. So really cool. This guy is JP58. Then we have another Velociraptor. This is the JP10. You can see if you move his legs back, he opens his arms like he's saying, Come on, give me a hug. I won't bite your head off. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Trust me. <laughs> so this guy is like red and you know, brown color. Really cool. Uh, he did make a sound at one time, but I guess his battery died. And this is, I believe, from Site B. Then we have another Jurassic Park, uh, Baryonx. So this guy is actually going to be in the new uh, Jurassic World 2 movie from the Fallen Kingdom. This guy is JP63, and he is also from Site B. His action feature is, if you move his leg back here, he swings his head to the side. But it would be nice if they had him open his mouth too, because his mouth does open way up. So, really cool. Look at that one. And then here we have the baby T Rex. So, this guy's really cool. Open his mouth way up. Tiny little arms, really long chicken legs. And uh, this is JP42. His feature was. He's got a broken leg here, so if you watch the uh, Jurassic Park uh, where they rescue one of the baby T-Rexes because his leg is broken, this is the one. So I do have the uh, mobile command center, which is where they use what they use to bring this guy to. And then I've got a Dilophosaurus. This is JP02. This guy doesn't really do anything. I mean, he is partially rubber his arms and legs do move but he doesn't have any action feature and then we have a chasmosaurus which is similar to a triceratops he just has a longer plate with uh spikes here on the side this is jp21 site b so he is an herbivore and his action feature is if you pull his leg back he moves his head up and down and he makes a noise. But it's really slight. So I think this guy's gonna need new batteries also. He could move his head up and down. Ah, oh, he does move it up and down. Apologize. Cool. Then we have a tiny little Jurassic Park Stegosaurus. And then we have an awesome Jurassic Park Hummer from The Lost World. I have not reviewed this one yet. It is not complete. I mean, it has the sides that go up here so they could view stuff from up high. Cages on the side here that pop up and down. So it is a nice huge Hummer. It says engine there. And it is really good with the action figures. Let's take a look at some of the action figures. Here we have one of the Dino Tracker figures. And then I have a couple uh, Ion Malcolm figures. We got that one with the black and blue. We've got this one with the black outfit on. And then also I have one other one where he's wearing like some type of suit jacket. So, three different I and Malcolm's. And then I have Nick Van Owen. Shh. Slow getting up. Apologize. So Nick Van Owen. I have Dennis Nedry from the original Jurassic Park. That's the uh, big guy that stole the, all the uh, 
DNA samples and he carried them away in the shaving cream. And here I have Jules Jackson from Jurassic Park. Awesome. And then uh, these action figures will fit into the Hummer. And then I got three smaller figures from the Dino Hunter series. You got a little T-Rex there, a little Spinosaurus, and a Tyrannodon. Then I got this awesome little Matchbox uh, series. It's a T-Rex with a little guy here that pops up to try to shoot him. And he fits right into the T-Rex's mouth. So T-Rex, jump, jump, jump. Uh, so that's an engine vehicle. A uh, tiny little compi, which is also going to be in Jurassic Park 2, The Fallen Kingdom. Awesome Jurassic Park T-Rex from the Dino Hunter series. A cool Spinosaurus from the Dino Hunter series. And then I've got another Matchbox vehicle. This says the Lost World over there. And Sure, what its action feature is. But continuing on, more memorabilia. We have a Lost World watch here. If you turn it, it like lights up into like a dinosaur eye. Whoa, that is freaky looking. And then we have a cool little Jurassic Park triceratops here. A lot of these little ones are brand new guys. I have not reviewed these yet. You got a little JP28 T-Rex over here. Another uh, Jurassic Park uh, Velociraptor. Cool. And here is another Velociraptor. Brown, black, and red. And let's see what else we got. We got a tiny little JP24 Jurassic Park Stegosaurus. We got a tiny little Pteranodon that just says JP on it. We got this little metal action figure. It looks like uh, one of the guys carrying a uh, baby T Rex. We got this tiny little T Rex that says JP. 42 and then we've got some cards from the movie it said the Gallimimus Stampede here you've got the roar of the raptor the mighty T-Rex you've got this project has legs and filming the hatchery cool okay so that means guys it's time to set up our dinosaur park Okay, so our park is all set up. For this one, we have the Jurassic Park Mobile Command Center. This is the Chaos Mobile Command Center. I do have the original one, and I bought this one, which I will be reviewing later this week. We got the 50,000 volt fence surrounding us, so we are ready for the dino. So we will start with the two biggest ones, the bull T-Rexes, right there in the back. That Chaos one goes really good with the Chaos Effect vehicle. And then we'll go ahead and set the big remote control T-Rex in the back here also. And the Spinosaurus. Like I said, this Spinosaurus is the coolest looking dino you are going to find. And then let's go ahead and we will put the Bone Crusher Carnotaurus there. I will put the poor Triceratops there right between the carnivores, the Stegosaurus over here. And then the baby T-Rex is going to go right there with the Carnotaurus. Guy has a hard time. Standing the Uta Raptor is gonna go out over here And then the young T-Rex is gonna go right over there Okay, and then I got some other smaller ones 
got uh, herbivore, carnivore, velociraptor, dilophosaurus. Oops. That one will do some help standing up. The baryonks. Another cool chaos effect dino over here. And then some of the smaller dinosaurs all the way in the front here. Okay guys, so that was totally awesome. If you like that and want to see more fun videos, make sure you hit subscribe. Click the bell button to be notified. Uh, next to the subscription button when I make a new video and drop me comments. I love reading your comments guys uh, They are awesome. If you guys enjoy this video. I do have over a thousand more the majority are Jurassic World Jurassic Park King Kong Godzilla and Power Rangers. Wow, you guys are awesome And I will see you tomorrow Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun videos. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.